I want to start by playing a little clip of your president uh, this week. Just when you thought he couldn't get any more ridiculous. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the... There's been a response from the opposition. But, um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry. That was where he couldn't remember anything. Uh, he later then talked about having spoken to the French president, Mitterrand, who died in 1996, and then he forgot the name of Hamas, Jimmy. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> now, in Biden's defence, Pierce, the press has been asking him some really tough questions lately, like, what is your name? <laughs> what do you do for a living? This is a really sad thing to watch. The worst mm. part about the Biden clip you showed in regards to Hamas is a reporter actually helps him out. Mm. At one point, he goes, the opposition, and the reporter goes, Hamas. Well, meaning, incredible. speed it up, buddy. We don't want to be all day watching mm. you fish here. And this is the reality of what we're faced with as a country. Like, I don't make this point as a conservative, although I'm clearly a conservative. I make it as an American. We shouldn't have a president who makes the sign language interpreter shrug. But that's what happens when Biden speaks, <laughs> because from time to time, he makes up words. Well, not Pierce, the shrug, not the president, shrug, but the I interpreter goes, him in... what the hell? Yeah. yeah, you see the sign language interpreter go from signing to, like, Googling, okay? <laughs> and that's my problem. We, Pierce, we have a president you couldn't play in Scrabble. Yes. Because you'd be fighting the whole time. It's not a word, sir. It's not a word. Schmeckin' a hammer and a hammer is not a word. I'm sorry. It's but, Jimmy, the most and, inexplicable uh, thing about this is that Biden fully intends to stand again in the election in November as the Democrat nominee and thinks he can do four more years. Oh, make no mistake about it. Biden has told everybody he knows he's going to beat President Reagan. OK? He's ready. <laughs> this is the... Re <laughs> <laughs> it's so And then ring his friend, President watch. Mitterrand, to tell him. <laughs> That's my... It's the greatest thing in the world, because first he says Mitterrand of Germany, wrong. Mm. Then he says Mitterrand of when I got inaugurated, which, by the way, sadly, he died 25 years mm. prior. I mean, this is what I'm faced with as an American. And the reality is, OK, obviously the Democratic Party likes what we perceive as a weakness because behind the scenes, they have a lot more power. The bureaucrats are obviously running the country. Joe Biden is an iTunes user agreement of a president. They tell him to scroll to the bottom and click I agree. You don't have to read it. We're just going to get rid of the border <laughs> wall, old man. Scroll to the bottom, click I agree. That's what this presidency is. And it's hard for me to watch because as an American, okay, it's not normal to no. have my president speak at the United Nations and they translate his speech to English. <laughs> That's not normal. I'll tell you what isn't also normal, uh, Jimmy, is cancel culture driven by these woke fascists who want to just eliminate absolutely everybody for any transgression. You've written a yeah. brilliant book, The A to Z Guide to Winning the War on Fun. We've only got about a minute, but what is the best way to combat okay. this culture? Well, the truth is, OK, it's to understand who cancel culture is. They existed before the social media age. There were always people who got mad at comedians, except we didn't call them cancel culture, we called them losers, okay? The bottom line is the outrage mob is not liked by either side. They were weaponized by the left for a long time until they started to cannibalize their own. So what we ultimately just need to do is get back to using sources of escapism, comedies, music, and movie, for common culture. You can't let them make a cultural battleground out of the comedy I actually club. Think, you know, Jimmy, the whole point of the comedy club is to leave it behind. I think you've hit it on the head. Damn them with laughter. Laugh at them and laugh That's at it. them and laugh at them until eventually they become such a laughing stock that nothing they say carries any merit.